Hey guys, hello. So I wanted to make, well actually a lot of you have been asking me to make a foundation tutorial, something about my complexion. So this is what it is. All about my complexion and how I do this bad boy. I hope that you like this tutorial and yeah, let's get into it. Before I start doing my complexion, I always make sure to prep my skin using skincare, obviously. So after cleansing my face, I use the Murad Hydrating Toner with a cotton swab just all over. And then I did the Sunday Riley Start Over Active Eye Gel Cream. Active Eye Gel Cream. It is an under eye cream that helps prevent fine lines, wrinkles, darkness, puffiness everything pretty much go right into a moisturizer I'm more on the dry side as of lately so I've been using my uh, Embroilis uh, Lac Le Cream Creme Concentrate Concentrate this it's great for really dry skin uh, you could use it on your hands you can use it on the body you could use it for uh, rosacea eczema it's amazing uh, so yeah that's the skincare that I have on right now I also got a little bit of a tan so if I'm looking a little bronzy, it's because I got that spray tan, girl. Except for my hands. Can you tell? You can kind of tell, huh? Maybe I should tan my hands. Now that our skin is all prepped with skincare, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This one is in the color Light 49. It's definitely not light. It's kind of dark for me, but it's what I have. And you know what? I just walk around with a really tan face. I'm going to be using Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Number no. 7. It's by It Cosmetics. It has a foundation brush on one side and a concealer on the other. I really like this brush for applying the foundation. So the Kat Von D will give a uh, obviously medium to full coverage. If you feel like it's too thick, too dry, too cakey, you could always sheer it out with a moisturizer or an oil. So I really like to stipple and press when I want more coverage. And then, buh, to smooth everything out. I have this huge pimple right here, of course. I always try and wipe it off, any foundation right up in here, just because I'm gonna put concealer and whatnot, and I don't want the foundation to get cakey in here, because it definitely can when I put concealer. I look orange. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Now I'm going to be using the Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer Light 03. I'm going to use as a corrector in my tear duct. Oh shoot, way too much. Damn it. So right in here. I'm going to use my finger and just now blend it outwards. Just light pats. Now I'm going to be using, I don't know, what do I want to use? The Naked Skin by uh, Urban Decay. This is number, it's light warm is the shade. I like this one because it reminds me a lot of the NARS concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, except that it doesn't, it gives you a little bit more coverage, I would say. It reflects light and looks brighter, luminosity, it's pretty. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes. Then taking my beauty blender, I'm going to just lightly pat and blend that out. I'm also going to use the concealer down the middle of my nose, the middle of my forehead, chin. <sighs> Gorgeous. Using my beauty blender again, just blending that out. I personally like to do my highlight before my contour. It's just, I don't know, habit, preference. You could always do your contour. My hands are so dry. You could always do your contour before your highlight. It's your call. Next, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Contour Palette. This is uh, the Pro Sculpting Palette, number 20. It's a cream. You get highlight contour. I haven't even used these two. Shimmer highlight and a blush. I've been using a lot of this guy and I'm loving it. I'm going to use a brush. I don't know what brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. It's by Crown Brush. The number wore off on the bottom, but I'll figure it out. It's got a flat top to it. So when I pick up this guy, and I'm going to just put this on. 
I like to stipple because when I stipple I'll get a better color payoff and then I'll blend it out. And then I'll do my nose after I blend it out. So using the butt of my beauty blender. So when I blend out my con my concealer, my contour, I'm just bouncing over the contour. You don't wanna drag the sponge at all or you're just gonna end up wiping it off. So just bounce away. <gasps> Pretty. I'm gonna contour my nose. So I have this brush that I got from Coastal Scents. It's got that angle to it. You see it in a flat top. I, I don't know the exact name of this brush. It's a number. Anyways, so I like to use this to contour my nose. Pick up some of the cream and then sides of my nose. Now it's time to set everything. Now this is the part where if you want to keep it pretty natural, you can set your face right now with a translucent powder, which I do on some days um, when I just kind of, like I wanna look like this, but I don't wanna take it to the next level. But I'm gonna take it to the next level because uh, that's what I do. Okay, here we go. I am taking a powder brush. This one is from Sephora brand. They don't make the one with the pink handle anymore, but they do make this brush. It's called the Natural Foundation Brush. I like this with powders. It's a beautiful finish. I love this brush. I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder, take my powder brush, dip it right in there, kind of tap off the excess. Now I'm going to set my contour, just the contour. The banana powder you can use to set your highlight. I don't like to use it to set my highlight because it's too dark for me and it makes my highlight look darker. So I use it to set my contour and what this is gonna do is it'll prevent it from getting muddy. You know, when your contour starts to either disappear because you're rubbing up on it or uh, it just gets darker throughout the day and you're like, what happened? I look like I rolled in dirt. <laughs> That's the worst. And then you try to blend it and it's not working and then all day you're like, why? So only the contour. If you have a deeper complexion, uh, their Ben Nye makes like topaz, and there's another one that's deeper. Those work well too. And um, then you could always use the banana to set your highlight. I am going to take a fluffier brush. This one is by Stelazzi. It's called Flat Shadow Brush. Is this what I wanna use? Yeah, I'll just, it's a flat eye shadow brush. I like to use it to set my under eye highlight. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. The number wiped off on the bottom. I believe it was 12 though. Anyways, I'm gonna take this, take a little bit with my brush, maybe a lot, and then set my under eye. This will prevent the concealer from creasing under the eye and then I'm going to do on the bridge of my nose middle of my forehead I'm now going to fill in my eyebrows using Wonder Brow. I've used this um, in like the last couple of videos I did and everyone was telling me that they're sold out. I hope that they're not still sold out because it's a really good product. You just paint it in your eyebrows and like it just, it stays put all damn day. Like you have to scrub to get this stuff off. going to add more contour with a powder to make it a little bit more intense. So I have been using this the last few days and I really like it. It's the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. Contouring Palette Contour. That's kind of a weird name. Contouring Palette Contour. Contouring Palette Contour. So it comes with two different colors. You get the, the deeper shade and the lighter shade. I've just been using the deeper shade with an angled brush. This one is from Delium Tools. Go over the contour, over that banana powder as well. And this will intensify the contour. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I always use the Urban Decay eyeshadows as cheek highlights all the time. So I'm going to use an Urban Decay eyeshadow. This one is Sin. 
with a brush. I need a brush. Let's do a fan brush because my fan brush never gets any love. After my highlight, I did add a little bit of blush. Sorry, my camera was off. It's the Hikari blush, and this one is called Bikini. So I added this with the, this is by Delium Tools. I love this brush for blush. So a little bit of that, and yeah, that's that. So this is my foundation routine. Um, sometimes the foundations will change, but as far as like the, the steps and the setting and the powder and all that, it stays the same. If you don't want your face to go anywhere, I promise you set it, do thin layers like that, and it will always work out, even without a primer. Now I'm gonna go into my eyes and my lips and whatnot, but I'm gonna actually film another tutorial. So I'm gonna kind of cheat and do two in one day. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and I will list everything that I mentioned or used below. I hope that you have a really good day today. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.